Today we're going to show, demonstrate the filtration with using the mixture of solution here. We have lead nitrate with potassium iodide. If you see here the screen, here is a molecular equation which shows potassium iodide plus lead nitrate which will yield to potassium nitrate with lead iodide. For the ion equation, we can see that lead iodide was the one that going to precipitate. And since the 2K plus and 2NO3 minus, which is also present in both reactant and product side, and work as a spectator ion, we're going to cancel. And as a result, the net ion equation tells PB2 plus plus 2I minus, we're going to yield to lead iodide. And now I'm going to show how we're going to work. So basically, we're going to use lead nitrate which is clear and liquid transparent and also for the potassium iodide which is still clear and transparent so when you mix those two you're gonna have lead iodide which is gonna be yellow color and opaque now she's so gonna demonstrate the gravity filtration for gravity filtration we're gonna wait the precipitate on the filter paper on the wash glass. So first of all, we have to wait this alone. After we wait it, we record it just as an initial mass. And we're gonna record a scale number. And later we're gonna go back and use the same scale for accuracy. After we wait this, we're going to use the blue paper and we're going to fold it in half and into quarters and we're going to make it into a cone shape just like this. After we're done, we're going to put it in a funnel and we're going to use the solvent to wet the filter paper so when you pour the solution into the funnel, the precipitate won't be absorbed to the drywall. the filter paper and we're gonna put it on the ring and the beaker below is just to collect the filtrate and to do the filtration we're gonna pour the solution on the stirring rod to the funnel the stirring rod is here to control the flow and the splashings after we're done pouring the liquid down in here we're gonna Use the solvent, wash the solid, and we're gonna dump everything into the funnel. And we're gonna wait until the filter paper is dry, and we're gonna wait the solid with the filter paper on the wash glass. And we're gonna find the mass of the precipitate from the mass of the final and the mass of the initial. Um, another type of filtration is called the vacuum or suction filtration. And with uh, that type of filtration, you need a collection flask, a Buchner funnel, a rubber stopper, rubber tubing, a water trap flask, and a vacuum, which you use from the lab bench. So first what you do is weigh the watch glass and the filter paper, just like in the gravity filtration. You would have to first have to zero the scale out so there's nothing, and then you wait. Okay. Once you have that mass, you can put that aside, take the filter paper, and place it into the Buchner funnel. It should fit nicely. You could um, scrunch it up or cut it to make the filter paper fit into the Buchner funnel. The Buchner funnel uh, is has a rubber stopper at the bottom. You place that into the collection flask and make sure it fits firmly so that the vacuum will uh, work correctly. Um, the rubber tubing, you, you connect it from the side arm of the collection flask to the water trap flask. And you use this type of rubber tubing, which is a very thick,
tubing to prevent pinching from the pressure of the atmosphere. And the use of the water trap here is to prevent the water from the, the filtrate that we filter that goes into here from going up the vacuum. So instead, it goes into the water trap. So um, after you have make sure that all the rubber tubing is connected tightly, you turn on the vacuum um, and it should uh, pull the filtrate out. So what we're gonna do now is race between, we're gonna see which is faster, the gravity filtration or the vacuum. And um, so which, whoever finished first will be the more effective method. Okay, so we both have equal amounts of the lead iodide, 40 milliliters. Okay, pictures. So first I'm gonna turn on my vacuum. that because of the vacuum, all the uh, liquid is down and what we have left is the precipitate, which I'll take out. When taking out the filter paper, be very careful because the filter paper is easily tears. subtract, to find the mass of the precipitate, you would subtract 
this final mass of the precipitate filter paper and watch glass and subtract the initial mass you took, which is only the filter paper and the watch glass, and you get your final mass. And you want to check and see if yours is done? No, oh, it's not done yet. There's still some solution in the, in the funnel, so I can't wait it. Okay. So from this demonstration, we can see that the vacuum suction filtration is faster than the gravity filtration and more effective.